Praise the Lord friends. Today I have an interesting parable for each one of us. If we want to know how we can touch God's heart and how he can listen to our prayers, we have to know this parable. This parable is a beautiful parable and which I'm going to share with you to stay tuned. So I was watching this chosen series. It is about Jesus the life of Jesus and it's a very interesting if you if you have not yet watched please to watch and I was watching the interview between uh, the one who played the character of Jesus and the one who was uh, the director of the series there was a particular scene and uh, the actor who played Jesus was telling the director that when he was in that scene and he was uh, given the dialogues to preach basically to whatever is there in the bible he was supposed to tell the parables and all and uh, he was doing it but he was very uncomfortable he was very very uncomfortable doing it and therefore he uh, asked the director please stop it i want to talk to you for some time and uh, the director asked him what happened why are you so uncomfortable is there any problem and uh, he told him that i just feel unworthy I just feel unworthy doing this. It was it was a it was a very nice moment to listen from an actor who had played the character of Jesus when he felt totally unworthy to speak the words of Jesus and the line which the director said was again too good. He just looked in the eyes of the person who played uh, the act, character of Jesus that is Jonathan. He looked at him and he said I do feel the same and I feel all over here all the people who are there on the set feel the same that we are unworthy to do this this is what is the core of today's parable the heart of prayer we all like to pray we all like to go to listen to our prayers but what is the attitude of our prayer if you look here in the parable of a tax collector and the pharisee jesus is telling this parable because the very first line tells us he told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt and then jesus said there were two people who went up to pray one was a pharisee and one was a tax collector now what is the problem the problem is if you you know if you listen to this parable now you know that the bad guy is the pharisee and the good person is the tax uh, the tax collector because jesus heard his prayer but during that time pharisee was a person who was very well known person he was known for his good deeds his good works his alms giving his prayer life his spirituality the way he conducted himself the way he uh, lived his life you know giving god the glory every time doing god's work he was a person who had a very nice reputation but when you look at tax collector he was a you know he was very much hated by the people jews at that time he was hated because firstly he was working with the romans romans were already ruling over them so he was working with them and sometimes they used to you know take more money from the people like like frauds so they so people considered them as robbers as traitors and people literally hated tax collectors and they were like pharisees mean they were like they had a great respect now imagine there is no problem in the prayer of a pharisee he is giving thanks he is telling that i thank you god uh, god i thank you that i am not like other people thieves rogues adulterers or even like this tax collector i fast twice a week i give a tenth of all my income now what is wrong with this he he is doing all good acts but here we see that the tax collector standing far off would not even look up to heaven but was beating his breast saying god be merciful to me i am a sinner and jesus said i tell you the man went this man went down to his home justified rather than the other for all who exalt themselves will be humbled and all those who humble themselves will be exalted so here we see friends that the people must be shocked 
I told you there is going to be a reversal in God's kingdom. What is the reversal? The reversal is that God looks at the heart of the person. There are two lives, the interior life and the exterior life. Interior life nobody knows. Exterior life we all can see. So in the interior life, tax collector is humble and the Pharisee is proud. But in the exterior life, people must be looking at the Pharisee and thinking that he is very humble and the tax collector is very proud. So that is how we don't know the reality. Only God can see the real person. This tax collector was a sinner. He was a bad person. Pharisee was a good person. But Jesus, God accepted the prayer of a of a tax collector, of a sinner. And why did he re do so? Because his heart was humble and contrite. He was genuinely repenting from his heart. He knew that he is unworthy when he comes in the uh, temple, in the church. He, is not, he can not even look at the face of God. But Pharisee felt that it is his own right. This temple, this church is his own church. We can say it in today's time that it is his own church because he is doing so many good activities. So it is his right to be there. So he had, he did not have a humble and a contrite heart. In fact, there were three sins which the Pharisee had, which I will share with you. First thing is like he was glorifying himself, self-glory. He was not coming there to thank God actually. He was telling God how good he is. How much good things he is doing in his life. He is fasting twice. He is doing this. He is doing that. But on the other hand, uh, tax collector was not even glorifying himself. But acknowledging that he has no glory. He is a sinner. Your Pharisee had the second sin of pride. Pride is a sin where, where even if you do thousands of good deeds, it will wipe away everything. Because... It, you can, we cannot please God by our deeds only because if we have a lot of pride in us. And this Pharisee had a lot of pride and therefore he, he was judging the tax collector. He was telling, thank God I am not like him. Sometimes we don't judge people directly but in our attitude, in our mind, we always keep judging people that, oh, I am not like them. Oh, I am not like them. You know, I at least I'm not bad as them, you know, I am at least good. I'm a decent Catholic. I'm a good, good church goer. And that can happen to each one of us, which is really very harmful to us. The third thing is about, uh, you know, when you start, when whenever there is a good deed happening, see Pharisee was doing so much good, therefore he had contempt for others. So when we start talking ill about others, we start becoming self-righteous. So one of the act of self-righteousness comes when we disregard others, when we contempt, we you know we speak ill about others. We feel that we are speaking ill about them means they need God's mercy. We don't need God's mercy because we are all perfect. We are we don't have sin, and that is the biggest sin which we can say because we all have to come before God as sinners. Be come with a com humble heart, a contrite heart, and this is what we see in Psalms 51 when David prayed the Psalms he said have mercy on me O Lord and he also said in Psalm 51 verse 17 where he said the sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit a broken and a contrite heart O God you will not despise so now we can see that uh, uh, you know our good things doesn't make us righteous even if we do a lot of good things, we have to approach God with reverence, with humility and our prayers should be very humble that Lord, I can't see my sins. All that I can see is the sins of others. But I also need your mercy, Lord. I am. And when we pray with a humble heart, a contrite heart, so your Jesus is not telling us that, uh, be a bad person like the tax collector. Is Jesus telling us that don't do good things? Absolutely no. Jesus is telling even if you become, uh, when even if you are doing good things like the Pharisees, 
uh, your heart should be like the tax collector your heart should be contrite and humble like the tax collector and therefore then your prayer will be heard because here it is written if you humble yourself before god god will exalt you in the right time so it's a wonderful parable and there is so much to uh, learn from it that the pharisee was praying to himself he considered himself as god and the uh, tax collector was very desperate prayer probably he wanted to change his way he wanted to get out of his sin but he was struggling so that is what we can say that sometimes we can judge people from the exterior if a person comes to us in the church and we feel oh this person has done so many bad things and today he's come to the church but probably he's really repentant from his heart and god can see his heart so we are not in the place of god to judge when we start judging we take the seat of god when we start condemning and passing judgments we actually take the place of god and therefore that is a great sign that we need to humble ourselves so i have three questions for our reflection the first question is how is our inner disposition when we sit for prayer second do we condemn people in our heart like the pharisee when we see their sins and thus look up down upon them third do we pray with a contrite and a repentant heart even if we have been blessed with a good ministry uh you don't know like how god does justice i told you it's a reversal god looks at the heart of a person and god loves a contrite heart a repentant heart and he wants us to have that heart and pray and see if you pray with that heart all your prayers will be heard thank you god bless bye bye